Up next, it is Pettisville versus Crestview. Get ready for a synaptic stampede. Only one team can leave victorious. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's brain game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game, Pettisville versus Crestview. Let's get right to it and meet our teams. Pettisville, tell us who you are. I'm Lila, I'm a senior. To my left is Kate, a junior. To my right is Elise, a junior. All right, welcome to you, Crestview. Tell us who you are. I'm Sam, I'm a freshman. To my left is Levi, he's a sophomore. And to my right is Drew, he's also a sophomore. All right, welcome to both of our teams. We're gonna start things off on our toss up round. All questions in this round are worth 10 points. No deduction for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question. Teams, are we ready? Toss-up round starts right now. With what type of creature would one associate the following literary names? Fru-Fru, Fatty Lumpkin. That would be Crestview, Sam. Dog. Incorrect, Greased Lightning. Flicka and Slapenir. Pettisville, would you like to steal? That'd be Lila. Horse. They are indeed horses. When a data set has multiple outliers or extremes, which measure of central tendency is the more accurate to use? That would be Crestview, Sam. Median. Median, yes. A thick mass of grass roots and soil, this material once provided home builders on, that would be Pettisville, Elise. Sod. Sod, yes. During the 16th century Spanish conquest of the Americas, this Peruvian people of the Andes Mountains, that would be Crestview, Sam. Incas. They are the Incas. They worship the sun god Inti. Identify the French Impressionist painter who during 1890 created an exhibit of 15 paintings of the French countryside during harvest using haystacks as, that would be Crestview, Sam. Monet. Monet, yes, as its central feature. Identify the New York Yankee baseball player who in 1939 described himself as the luckiest man on the face of the earth in a farewell speech to his fans. That would be Pettisville, Levi. Uh, Babe Ruth. Or excuse me, Crestview, uh, Levi. Say again. Babe Ruth. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? That would be Lila. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig is who we needed there, yes. Stories about a sky country named Sugar Candy Mountain entertain the characters of this novel that includes a revolution led by Snowball. Identify this work by George Orwell. Pettisville, Lila. Animal Farm. Animal Farm is what we were looking for there, yes. In the human body. This organ whose epithelium is lined with villi is the major site of nutrient absorption. Identify this organ where food is processed. Crestview, Sam. The colon. Incorrect, Pettisville, would you like to steal? That would be Elise. The stomach. Incorrect, the small intestine is what we needed there. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969, what was the name of the lunar module that trans, that would be Crestview, Sam? The Eagle. That's right, the Eagle has landed, Tranquility Base. Set in France, Italy, and the Mediterranean, this adventure novel is often considered Alexander Dumas' best work. What is the title of this swashbuckler? Crestview, Sam. Treasure Island. Incorrect, Pettisville, would you like to steal? I'm on that one, the Count of Monte Cristo. Count of Monte Cristo. That is all 10 questions in our toss up round. Well, 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 what do we have here but a tie score? Pettisville, Crestview, both at 40 points, meaning it's anybody's game. Our risk and reward round is coming up next.
Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Your eyes do not deceive you. We are tied. Pettisville, Crestview, both at 40 points as we move into our next round, but we do have some substitutions. Lila, can you tell us who has joined your team? And why don't you mention your coach as well? Who's your coach this season? So our coach is Rebecca DeRose. To my left is Samuel Jr. To my right is Renee Jr. All right, welcome aboard, Crestview. Who has joined your team and who is your coach? Our coach is uh, Miss Shelby Walters and to my right is Karis, she is a junior. All right, welcome to our substitution players and our returning players as we move to the risk and reward round. There are nine questions in this round. Both teams will receive the same nine questions. They're 10 points each. No deduction for an incorrect answer. Both teams will have an option of the 10th risk and reward. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments. However, if you get that question wrong, you will lose the same number of points that you have risked instead of gain. That's why it's called risk and reward. All right, well, since we're tied, we did a coin toss, and that means that Crestview, they won it. They'll be staying in the studio. Pettisville, that means you're off to isolation. All right, Crestview, it is time for your risk and reward round. Are you ready? Here we go. With which form of modern dance would one associate the move called the Alexander or Shirley Temple, which consists of flap Heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. Sam. Ballet. Incorrect. Tap dancing. Tap dancing. Which world capital is part of the Nile River Valley and claims the second largest population of any African city? The Great Pyramids of Giza are within short traveling distance of its city limits. Sam. Cairo. Cairo, yes. Cairo, Egypt. Which four-letter science term names a type of fertile soil composed of clay and sand that also contains humus? The correct response begins, that would be Levi. Loam. Loam, yeah, begins with the letter L. On the modified Mercalli intensity scale, this number indicates total devastation on land. Earthquake waves are seen on the surface and objects are thrown upward into the air. Identify this, this highest rating. Levi. 10. 10, yes. Or we would have also accepted the Roman numeral X. An aurora occurs when electrically charged particles from the sun interact with atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, producing light of many colors. Which color is the most common? Levi. Green. Green indeed. Which group of tendons and muscles located in the shoulder beneath the deltoid can become impaired due to overuse, especially from a throwing type action used in sports or on the job? Sam. Rotator cuff. Rotator cuff. Been there, done that. English and Spanish are two of the three most spoken languages worldwide. What is the other? Sam. Mandarin. Mandarin, correct. What nickname did Washington Irving give to the borough of Manhattan in his magazine, Salma Gundy? It, in contemporary times, the term is most often linked with the superhero Batman. Sam. Gotham. Gotham City, yes. In 1516, in a 1516 book, I should say, this title described a fictional island in the Atlantic Ocean that was considered an ideal place to live. Identify the title of this work by Sir Thomas More that theorizes a perfect society. Sam. Utopia. A utopia, yes. This is your risk and reward question. The topic is holidays. Would you like to risk you can risk up to 30 points in five point increments or pass. Crestview, what do you think? 15 points. They are going to risk 15 points on holidays. The first observation of this day occurred on April 22nd, 1970. What name designates this special day worldwide 
during which a conservation group during which conservation groups plant trees or promote environmental awareness. I'm, I'm sorry, did not get in in time. Uh, so since you did not buzz in, you will lose 15 points. We're looking for Earth Day. Earth Day there. Crestview, that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time for you to go to isolation. All right, let's bring back in Pettisville. Welcome back from isolation. Are you ready? for your risk and reward round. Here we go. With which form of modern dance would one associate the move called the Alexander or Shirley Temple, which consists of flap heel, heel spank, heel toe heel? Samuel. Charleston. Incorrect, that's tap dancing. Which world capital is part of the Nile River Valley and claims the second largest population of any African city? The Great Pyramids of Giza are within short traveling distance of its city limits. That would be Samuel. Cairo. Cairo, Egypt. Which four letter science term names a type of fertile soil composed of clay and sand that also contains humus? The correct response begins with the letter L. That would be Lila. Loam. Loam is correct. On the modified Mercalli intensity scale, this number indicates total devastation on land. Earthquake waves are seen on the surface and objects are thrown upward into the air. Identify this highest rating. Samuel. Five. Incorrect. 10 or the Roman numeral X. An aurora occurs when electrically charged particles from the sun interact with atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, producing light of many colors. Which color is the most common? Lila. Green. Green, correct. Which group of tendons and muscles located in the shoulder beneath the deltoid can become impaired due to overuse? especially from a throwing type action used in sports or on the job. Time, rotator cuff, rotator cuff. English and Spanish are two of the three most spoken languages worldwide. What is the other? Samuel. Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin, yes. What nickname did Washington Irving give to the borough of Manhattan in his magazine, Salma Gundy? In contemporary times, the term is most often linked to the superhero Batman. Time, Gotham City, Gotham City. In a 1516 book, this title described a fictional island in the Atlantic Ocean that was considered an ideal place to live. Identify the title of this work by Sir Thomas More that theorizes a perfect society. Lila. Utopia. Utopia is correct. This is the risk and reward question. Our topic is holidays. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments or you can pass. Pettisville, what do you think? We'll do it for 10. They're gonna do it for 10 points on holidays. The first observation of this day occurred on April 22nd, 1970. What name designates this special day worldwide during which conservation groups plant trees or promote environmental awareness? Lila. Earth Day. Earth Day is correct. That is all of your risk and reward questions. It is now time to clear our scores and let's bring back in Crestview. All right, welcome back. We are going to reveal our scores. We are gonna start with Crestview. Now you went for the risk and reward question, 15 points, did not get it. So let's see where you stand. 
You stand at 105 points. Pettisville went for it, got 10 additional points. Pettisville stands at 100 points. Only five points separate our teams. This is a game. Stay tuned. Category round is coming up next. Deductions are gonna start. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brand Game. A tight, tight, tight competition. Pettisville 100, Crestview 105. It doesn't get much closer than this. All right, before we move on, let's check in with our teams to see uh, who has joined or rejoined their team. Pettisville, tell us who's back. To my left, we have Kate, the junior. Welcome to Kate. And Crestview, who's joined your team? Uh, to my right, we have Saxon. He is a freshman. All right, welcome to our returning and our new players uh, and the players that have stuck around. This is our category round. There are six categories to choose from. Questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, but deductions start. So if you go for 15, you can lose 15. You can confer before buzzing in, not after, and you can steal a question in this round. And keep an eye out for our double or nothing question. It's in there somewhere. Pettisville, since you're at 100 points, you get to make the first selection. We'll go boats for 10. Boats for 10 points. Name these things that have to do with boats. What do we call the front and the back of a boat? That will be Sam. The bow and the stern. Bow and the stern, correct. Crestview takes control. Um, World Capitals, 20. World Capitals for 20 points. I'll name the capital. You give the country. Minsk. Sam. Um, Hungary. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? Belarus is what we needed there. But, Crestview, you're still in control. Um, World Capitals, 15. World Capitals for 15. Bucharest. That would be Crestview. Sam. Romania. Romania, correct. Back in the lead, Crestview and in control. Uh, Pope culture, uh, Popuri, I believe. Ten. Popuri. Ten. For how many? Ten. Ten points. Answer these pop culture questions. What did Mandalorian fans originally name the child? That would be Crestview, Levi. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, yes. Crestview in control. Cute little guy, isn't he? Um, pop culture, Papa Ree, 15. Pop culture for 15. What is the longest running TV series? That would be Crestview. Sam. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? That would be Kate. The Simpsons. The Simpsons, yes. Pettisville, in control and in the lead. The Library, 10. The library for 10 points. Identify each of the following people, ideas, or things associated with the library. General name for the book section that includes encyclopedias and dictionaries. Pettisville, Renee. Reference. That is indeed the reference section. Pettisville still in control, putting on the gas. Library 15. Library for 15. Library classification system that uses a range of three digits to place like subject areas on the shelves, named after the man who created it. Pettisville, Lila. Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System, yes. Pettisville in control. Library 20. Library for 20 points. Term for different type of books, excuse me, different types of books, such as mystery, fantasy, Crestview, Sam. Genre. Those are genres, yes. Crestview back in control. World Capital 25. World Capitals for 25 points. Vilnius. That would be Crestview, Sam. Um, Serbia. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? Time, Lithuania. Lithuania. Uh, Pettisville, no excuse, Crestview is still in control. World Capitals 10. World Capitals, 410. Nassau. Um, 
That would be Crestview, Sam. The Bahamas. The Bahamas, yes. Crestview still in control. Clawing their way back. World Capitals, 30. World Capitals for 30 points. Baku. That would be Crestview, Sam. Algeria. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? I'm Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Crestview, though, you're still in control. Pop culture, Papuri, 20. Pop culture for 20. What is the nickname for Sirius Black in the Harry Potter? That would be Crestview, Sam. Blackfoot. Incorrect. Pettisville, would you like to steal? That would be Renee. Padfoot. Padfoot is what we needed there. Yes, Padfoot. Pettisville in control. Library 25. Library for 25 points. Annual book award given for outstanding literature. That would be Crestview, Sam. Pulitzer Prize. Incorrect. For children 14 years and younger. Pettisville, would you like to steal? Time, the Newberry Award. The Newberry Award is what we were looking for there. Pettisville in control. Library 30. Library for 30 points. Annual Book Award given for outstanding illustration in children's books. The Caldecott Medal. Pettisville in control. Cooking terms 10. Cooking terms for 10. Given a, de given a definition and the first letter of the correct response, identify each term used in culinary arts. The letter is C, fried or toasted cubes of bread. Crestview, Levi. Croutons. Croutons, yes. Crestview in control. Cooking terms 15. Cooking terms for 15. The letter is P, a trifling amount that can be held between the, that would be Pettisville, Lila. Pinch. Pinch, yes. Pettisville back in control, back and forth. Cooking terms 20. Cooking terms for 20 points. The letter is S. To fry quickly, in a, that would be Crestview, Sam. Saute. Saute. Back to Crestview. Cooking terms 25. Cooking. End of round. End of round. Let's take a look at our score. Crestview, 65. Pettisville, 175. Don't let that score deceive you. Still anybody's game because the brainstorm round's coming up what next. Questions, 20 points, negative 20 points, incorrect answer, anybody's game, three minutes, coming up next. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Both teams have been swinging for the fences. We have Crestview at 65. Pettisville at 175 points. Before we get to our next round and final round, we have some new players and some returning players. Lila, tell us who's uh, rejoined the team. To my left is Sam, and to my right is Elise. Welcome back to you, and Sam, you have a new member. Who is it? Um, to my right is Megan, and to my left is Levi. Okay, and Megan is a junior. junior. All right, welcome to you. All right, this is... Our brainstorm round. All questions in this round are worth 20 points. Negative 20 points. I repeat, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, not after. No stealing questions in this round. I repeat, no stealing questions in this round. We have three minutes of brainstorm. Crestview, Pettisville, are you ready? Three minutes brainstorm starts right now. Find the volume of a gold bar measuring six inches by three inches by two inches. Crestview, Sam. 36 inches cubed. Cubed, correct. This is what is committed when a lie is told under oath. Name it. Crestview, Sam. Um, contempt of court. Incorrect. Perjury. Identify the four-letter palindrome that can name a positive act performed for another or a legal document that will be Pettisville. Samuel. Deed. A deed, yes. According to the geologic time scale, which unit of time is missing from the following progression? Eon, era, blank, epoch, age. That would be Crestview, Sam. Period. Period, yes. As of 2021, four presidents have been assassinated. Name two of them. 
Chris, you, Sam. Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. Correct. Garfield and McKinley were the others, who briefly served as President of the United States while Ronald Reagan underwent surgery for a gunshot wound inflicted by John Hinckley. That would be Chris, you, Sam. Dick Cheney. Incorrect. It was the Vice President at the time, George H.W. Bush. How many bones are there in the adult human body? Pettisville, Elise. 206. Correct. What is another name for the voice box? Crestview, Sam. The larynx. Larynx is correct. This is the largest organelle in the cell and contains its chromosomes. Crestview. Nucleus. Nucleus is correct. This substance slows down or speeds up a chemical reaction that would be Pettisville, Lila. Catalyst. Catalyst is correct. How many Canadian provinces are there? That would be Crestview, Sam. 10. 10 is correct. In Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel, The Scarlet Letter, what was the name of Hester Prynne's daughter? Pettisville, Elise. Pearl. Correct. This Hawaiian volcano is the most active on Earth. Name it. Time, Kilauea. What island group did Darwin visit during, that would be Crestview, Sam. Galapagos. Galapagos. This is the most populous city on the planet with 300, or excuse me, 38 million residents. Crestview, Sam. Shanghai. Incorrect, Tokyo. Find the, that is end of round. Let's take a look at our score, Crestview 145. Pettisville, 255 points, and our winner. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. Now we're gonna meet in the middle, shake hands in the spirit of good sportsmanship, head on out and about, and we're gonna see you at the next BGSU Brain Game. <laughs> <laughs>